He was a college hero in his hometown, but came to fame in Western New York, where he captured fans' attention at the odd with fearless passes, masterful behind-the-back passes that threaded the needle every single time. This is the story of Buffalo Braves legend, Ernie D. Before moving to upstate New York to play for a young pro team, Ernie D. Gregorio made history at Providence College, becoming an All-American who led his team to the Final Four. He'd later be inducted into the National Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame. Now, while his college career won the attention of pro scouts, how he helped lead a team of U.S. college stars to defeat Russia in 73 with Bill Walton, that's what made his draft selection undeniable. The six-foot point guard committed to play for the Braves in 1973. Under coach Jack Ramsey, Ernie joined other notable newcomers, Bob McAdoo and Randy Smith. Together, they bought the Braves their first winning season and their first playoffs appearance. WBFO's Jay Moran, storyteller and lifelong Braves fan, shares his memories of Ernie D from having watched him play. When the Braves were at their best, Ernie D was at his best. When he dribbled the ball, it hardly looked as if he was trying. He could dribble behind the back, he could dribble through the legs, just seemed to be in total control at all times and hardly breaking a sweat. While he was known in college as a scorer, with the Braves, Ernie D became regarded as one of the best passing guards in NBA history. He led the league in assists and to this day, shares the rookie record for assists in a single game. His long passes were something to behold. He could be dribbling and looking up and just sort of twist his hip and launch the ball and put it right on the money almost every time to hitting one of the guys breaking down the floor. McAdoo, Randy Smith, Gar Hurd, Jim McMillan. He averaged 15.2 points per game and led the league in free throws percentage. During his breakout season, Ernie locked down the Rookie of the Year award a huge win for this newly flourishing Buffalo team. You could almost say that he was a less athletic Steve Nash. He had that kind of imagination, that kind of flair, that kind of daring. After an explosive introduction into pro ball, Ernie suffered a severe knee injury the following season. That knee injury really took its toll. Ernie D wasn't much of a defensive player when he was at his healthiest. And then you take away his mobility when he hurt his knee, and all of that became a much bigger problem. Knee injuries back then, they ended careers. And in essence, his knee injury here in Buffalo really did, if not end his career, most certainly plagued his career the rest of the way. But by 76, he came back to lead the league once again in free throws percentage. After that, Ernie's best days in the league were unfortunately behind him. I think his career could have been different if the three-point arc had been in effect when he was playing, he would have been a much more effective player. Most of his shots were long shots as it was, and they only counted as two points then. Today, they're worth three. In 77, he was traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, but waived shortly after. He then signed as a free agent with the Boston Celtics. Now, in a strange twist of fate, Ernie played and beat the team that made him famous in their last game ever. After the game against the Celtics, the Braves left, and on a similar timeline, Ernie's days with the Celtics came to an end. He was a favorite. The way he could dribble that ball, the way he could pass the ball, he just seemed to be totally in charge at all times. And he was so creative. One of the most popular players in Buffalo Braves history retired from the NBA in 1981. To this day, his many local fans, they still smile at the mention of his name and the memory of his exciting play, especially those dazzling passes. Ernie D. Everybody called him Ernie D. Wore number 15. When I played ball, that's the number I wanted to be, number 15. But I got number nine and that was Randy Smith, so I didn't mind that either. <laughs> 